Cody Fisher, preschool through 12th grade principal and assistant superintendent, Glens Ferry School District. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this informational video on our upcoming supplemental levy election being held on May 20th. On the video, you will find information on where to vote, how the supplemental levy would affect your taxes if passed, proposed cuts if the supplemental levy is not passed, and proposed expenditures for the supplemental levy. In two, since 2006, Glens Ferry School District has seen a drastic decline in student enrollment. At that time, the district was over 600 students. Currently, we are at 440 students preschool through 12th grade. This has resulted in a drastic loss of revenue coming in from the State Department of Education. Also, since the recession hit in 2008, drastic cuts were made across the country in education, with Idaho's cuts being amongst the highest in the United States. This trickled down to Glens Ferry School District to the point where we now feel that we need to run a supplemental, le supplemental levy election in order to continue working to enhance the education we provide for our students. Glens Ferry School District has worked to try and make expenditures match revenues coming in from the State Department. Just in the last year, the district has cut $282,000 worth of personnel expenditures. These positions included four teaching positions, two paraprofessional positions, and drastic cuts in administration. So you might ask, supplemental levy is being run for how long, and how much is it, and how does it affect me? Our supplemental levy election is being run for $500,000 a year for two years. If passed, this would increase taxes to the property owners $2.21 per $1,000 of assessed value. What this means, for example, is if you have a property and home assessed at $100,000, after the exemption, you would be taxed on $50,000. Your taxes would then be raised $110.50 on the year for the supplemental levy. If you have a home and property assessed at $300,000, you would receive the maximum exemption of $83,920. This would mean you'd be taxed on $216,080 for your home and property. Your taxes would then be raised $477.54 on the year. So, if the supplemental levy is not passed, proposed cuts to the Glens Ferry School Board that have not been passed yet include cutting part-time superintendent position, leaving the district with one administrator to be superintendent and principal across the district. Also. Athletics have been proposed to be cut, leaving no athletics possibly in our high school or raising the pay to play amount for our students to be able to participate in athletics in the high school. Proposed cuts have been made for classified staff, including janitorial staff and paraprofessionals. Proposed cuts to electives such as music have been made. Also proposed to only have one high school math teacher in our high school for our students. It has been proposed that students pay for IDLA classes that they are currently taking. It has also been proposed to cut business manager staff in the district. And also, we would not be able to address our plant facility needs in the buildings across the district if the levy were to not pass. We've also been asked, if the supplemental levy does pass, how will we expend the money? First off, Glens Ferry School District would be able to maintain its current staff operations and working to enhance the education for our students. Along with that, we would be able to work to close the gap of state reimbursement money for administrators and IT directors. We currently receive funds for these positions, but not enough to hire full-time personnel in them. Also proposed expenditures for supplemental levy include increasing our curricular resources and upgrading them to meet the needs of our students to meet the new Idaho core standards that are being implemented in the district and across the state. We would also have a need to in upgrade our technology as we have 60% of the computers across the district are between 7 and 10 years old. Along with this, we would then be able to begin addressing our plant facility needs in buildings across the district if the supplemental levy were to pass. Where else can you find information on the supplemental levy? On May 13th, there will be a family math night being held in the high school, excuse me, in the cafeteria. 
For family math night, there will be a table that has brochures, pamphlets, and flyers available for you to take with facts regarding the supplemental levy. Also, on May 15th at 6 p.m. in the school cafeteria, we will be holding a public information meeting regarding this levy. We will then hold another public information meeting regarding the levy on Saturday, May 17th at 2 p.m. We encourage you to go out and vote on May 20th. If you're a Glens Ferry City resident, you will vote at Glens Ferry City Hall. King Hill residents will vote at the Presbyterian Church. Hammett residents will vote at the Hammett Community Church and our Waihee County residents will receive a mail-in ballot from the county clerk. I'd like to thank you again for taking your time to watch this video and encourage you to vote on May 20th. Thank you.